Hey, it's Mr. Polachek, and today we're outside to learn about ecological succession. Ecological succession is how the land changes over time. So what better place than an abandoned shopping center? You, if you look out here in the distance, you can see that the parking lot is changing. We have grasses go, growing through, um, and we're gonna talk about why that happens and how far will this go. But before we do that, let's take a look at an aerial view of this parking lot and abandoned shopping center. Okay, you guys, so there's two types of succession. What we're really looking at here is called primary succession. Um, we're going from like a bare rock community, in this case, a parking lot, and it will eventually turn into a forest, okay? So if you come over here and you look, you'll see that there's lots of cracks in the parking lot. Now that happens due to things like frost action, where over the winter months, water gets on the surface of the parking lot, it goes into little tiny cracks, then as it freezes, it makes those tiny cracks become wider. That gives an opportunity for small grasses to grow. Um, so those would be something like uh, that we would call a pioneer organism. A pioneer organism is the first creature to inhabit uh, an abandoned area or bare rock community. And that would be these grasses here. Another pioneer organism that you would see on a bare rock community might be something like a lichen. A lichen uh, is algae and fungus living together uh, mutualistically to break down the rock and create soil. That soil, that little bit of soil, gives an opportunity for small grasses to grow, like we see here. Okay, What will wind up happening is that these grasses will grow here. They're going to use up the, the uh, nutrients in the soil, create, making this micro ecosystem unfit for it to survive, so it will die. And then when it dies, it creates more organically rich soil. And this process continues over and over and over again. And very slowly, over a long, long time, uh, we wind up building up soil. And that gives an opportunity for shrubs and bushes to grow, and eventually small trees, maybe pine trees, and then the hardwood forests. So again, if you look out here, you can see that our parking lot is changing. We have small grasses growing all different areas, uh, and that's gonna eventually lead to soil being created and uh, creating an opportunity for other plants to grow. Now, the plants in the area determine the animals in the area. Maybe we'll get some birds in here, we'll get mice, we might get rabbits. And then over time, if you were to come back here hundreds of years from now, we would have, if this was left undisturbed, uh, you would come through here, you, you wouldn't know that you were walking on top of what was once a parking lot, and then you might find that building in the middle of a forest. Where does it end? Well, that's called the climax community. A climax community is the point at which succession no longer occurs. And here on Long Island, it, in New York State, it is a temperate deciduous forest. That means we have deciduous trees, trees that their leaves change color in the fall and drop in the winter time. Uh, that's our climax community. Uh, so this is an example of primary succession. We're looking at small grasses instead of lichens, but the idea is the same. This land will change over time. The next thing we're going to look at is our second example called secondary succession. We are in eastern Long Island in the Long Island Pine Barrens, and the reason why we're here is for me to show you secondary succession. If you look over in the background, you can see that there are trees in the background that show evidence of fire. A few years ago, there was a really bad fire that went through here and it burnt a lot of this forest uh, up. And the trees in the background are evidence of that fire. A lot of the plants were destroyed in the process, but here you can see uh, it's growing back. And secondary succession is the change of land. Over time, it happens much quicker than we saw in primary succession. And the reason being is because the soil stayed here. The organically rich soil is here, the fire, comes through, uh, burns things down, but then there's an opportunity for regrowth. In fact, some plants are adapted and need that fire to start the next generation. Many pine trees that we find here in the Pine Barrens are designed to um, have that fire and intense heat open up their pine cones and the scales open and release new seeds 
to spread the pine trees through the forest. Those are called serotonous cones. Um, in fact, the bark of the pine trees, uh, the deep channels uh, and, and separation of the bark channels up that heat and fire uh, and allows those plants, those trees to survive. Uh, they are still alive. If you go through there and you scrape some of the bark off underneath, there is living, uh, living cells underneath. So that's secondary succession. It happens a lot quicker than primary succession because the soil is already here. Uh, I hope that helps you understand succession and I'll see you next time. Okay, so thanks for watching. If you wanna see one of my other videos, just click right up over here. If you wanna subscribe, click there.